Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do an everyday makeup. This is a makeup look that I did yesterday actually and I got some really lovely comments about it and I tried out some new techniques that I have not done before but I absolutely loved it. I just thought it was so gorgeous and there's a couple of tips in there that I thought might help one of you guys. Okay, I'm going to do my brows first so let's zoom you in. Oh, do you know what? Let's just do the whole makeup this close because I really want you to see what I'm doing. I've got a couple of spots. This one on my lip, I just had the tiniest little spot and I didn't leave it alone. And look what happened. Don't pick your face, just don't do it. Uh, I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm gonna use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And the reason I'm doing this first is cause it's not messy, but I just love the way that this looks. I'm all about the big bushy brows. My last tutorial was just about brows and eyeliner. And you know what's funny? Those videos don't tend to do amazing. I just love sharing the the tips and the techniques so I really wanted to do a whole video in depth so if you're wanting to really see how I do my brows these days then go and watch that but I'm going to go through my brows with a brow gel you can see they're super fluffy and then I'm going to go in with a flat side and really smooth my brows down. I literally did this look yesterday and I think it was like the nicest I've thought my makeup's looked in a really long time. I took a little bit more time than usual to really focus on the placement of my products. I thought more about the kind of the finished look in its entirety rather than just chucking makeup on, which I'm actually quite bad for. I just chuck makeup on. I'm gonna use Gimme Brow Plus. And what you're left with is brows that are not going anywhere. Uh, I was up until two in the morning cleaning this flipping makeup room. I've got a terrible habit of procrastinating and, and not tidying up my makeup room, but I've done it and it feels really nice. It feels really nice to just be on top, on top of my shit. Cabrow by Benefit. I'm gonna use the little brush that comes in the top of the lid. So you just turn it round and it's just a really good brush. It's just tiny. And what I do now is I fill in the gaps. I just use the pomade right up to where my hairs are when they're, they're all stood up. And this just gives the bushiest, most gorgeous brow. I'm really trying to channel like Brooke Shields with these brows right now. Oh my God, you know what I watched last night? The end of Handmaid's Tale. I say the end, they've got three seasons out and I think there, there's a fourth one coming next year, but I didn't realise, I thought it was all caught up. I didn't realise that there was a whole season that I hadn't watched. So I watched it last night and I was sobbing. Jack went for a run. And he came back to find me on the couch, just tear-stained face. It's quite cathartic. I quite, I don't mind. I like having a little cry to a good TV programme or a film or something. So you can see I've made a bit of a mistake here. I brought it too far down, but I'm just going to clean it up with concealer. They definitely look a lot heavier when I don't have any other makeup on. And I've also, so we're going to stay zoomed in so you can see everything I'm doing really clearly. Let me know if you like it by the end of this tutorial, if you like the way that we've done it today. You can do that going forward. But I've also got the camera settings on quite low light. So you can really see, like, you can really see any kind of redness in my skin and stuff. Uh, my skin's doing okay. Just a couple of blemishes and I've got, you know, uneven tone like a lot of people. Skin is skin, my dudes. Okay, the concealer I'm going to use today is the Laura Mercier. This is the shade 3N in the Flawless Fusion Concealer. Really like it. And I'm actually going to take the concealer and I'm going to carve out my brows. So it's quite funny because I've got a natural brow, but I'm going to carve them out, which is definitely an old trick that we all used to do. And this is a really great way to tidy them up and it does give a little bit of a lift. And then I'm just doing the same thing to the top. You can see it does just give a really nice and neat edge. Bring that tail up. And I'm not too worried about blending the concealer out right now because I can do that when I'm doing my foundation. I'm going to go in with my base next and do my eyes last because the eye makeup we're doing isn't super heavy. Uh, so I'm going to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 5. I've got a little bit of fake tan on at the moment so my face is a tiny bit paler than the rest of me. I really love this product. Uh, there's a lot of products in this video that are favourites of mine. I've not got too much newness in here, but I'm wildly aware that I've been a very neutral girl for, for a while. So this is my last hurrah at kind of everyday makeup for a bit. I'm going to have some more kind of colourful and grungy stuff coming up next, but I really wanted to show you this look. So this is just my last one, right? Okay, just give me this last one. I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear in the shade Barcelona. I'm really liking their new soft matte foundation as well. Uh, I'm just using my Smith 115 brush. 
to buff this in. I don't know what my favourite part of doing my makeup is. I think it might be doing my base, you know, straight away. You can see that the colour is really nice. And mixing the NARS with the Charlotte Tilbury is a really beautiful finish that you get. So I'm just going to buff that in. And I'm not using a crazy amount. I definitely used to wear a lot more thriller coverage. And I still do sometimes. But today we're going for kind of middle of the road. So you can see that it just gives a really nice tone to my skin. It's definitely more yellow than my natural skin tone. But that's fine because I've got fake tan on. Nice. Right, you can see underneath my eyes is looking quite red and pink. So let's use our concealer. Same concealer as I used for around my brows. I definitely do my concealer a little bit more targeted than I used to. So I can see that I've got dark circles here. Here, there. I do like a little bit in the centre of my face, but I'm not going to my smile lines. I've got some blemishes on my chin. And I do just like highlighting the centre of my face a little bit with the concealer and just adding the coverage right in the middle. And I'm just going to pat it out to start with. And I'll let the concealer sit under my eyes just for a little second before we pat that out too. Add some real brightness under the eye, which is nice. And then if you just bring that concealer up, it's got a kind of slight lifting effect on the face, which is nice. I do just use my foundation brush. I think I'm just so used to doing makeup on my own face that I can use a larger brush to do my concealer. This brush is really nice and dense as well, so you can still get right in there and pat it out. If you were being super precise about it, you might want to use a smaller brush. So I think that's lovely. I would say we've got medium coverage. Skin still looks like skin, which is nice. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two. I think this is such a beautiful pressed powder and I do use it pretty much every day unless I'm trying out something new. But as far as pressed powders go, this is my favorite. And I'm just doing my usual spots, which is the areas of my face that tend to move the most. So around my mouth, because I'm a bit of a chatterbox. You might notice as well, right, okay, here, can you see this little dimple? I asked about my little dimple and apparently it's from Botox. It's from that muscle wasting away, which is just a bit crazy. So I wondered where this indent had come from. And when I've got makeup on, you can't really tell. And these lights don't help either. It's really not that noticeable, but I noticed it. Yeah, like there, you can really see it. I don't get as much Botox as I used to. I still get it, but just a tiny amount. Like I can still do this, I can still do this. But it's just less than, it's a little bit less than I usually would be able to. The main trick that I got really excited about was uh, with my bronzer. Bronzer is probably one of my favourite makeup products. I love the way it can change the shape of my face. I think because I've naturally got quite a round face, I do like to kind of slightly shape and define my face. And bronzers are a great way to do that. So I have here the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade I Pen in My Sun. So you can see it's a nice tone. It's not too dark. I'm going to start by bronzer and like normal which uh, and I like to keep it up nice and high I've not powdered my skin so I just take sheer layers if you're ever worried about how much products on your brush just get your hands and pat it out and I'm going to start at the back here and work my way onto my cheeks to start getting a little bit of a bronze keeping it super high I was looking at photos on Instagram and I came across this girl that um, someone had tagged me uh, and said that I looked really like her. She was getting her makeup done. She was, <laughs> I just realised what I've done. Someone said that I really looked like her and she just is a model. She happens to be a model. Oh, she's, she's a model and there was a similarity in the way that we looked. I think it was her eyes. But she also had quite a similar face shape to me and I noticed she was getting her makeup done and the makeup artist had kept our bronzer super high on the cheeks, which is the way I like to do it. But where I would usually stop, which is right now, I carried it down naturally to where my mouth is. Because what I've realized is the way that I do my bronzer, it's really nice and lifting, but it makes my jaw and my chin look quite big. So this, um, I thought was a super feminine way of doing my bronzer. So I open my mouth and naturally, I don't really have a hollow to my face, to be honest. Where my mouth opens, I brought my bronzer right down and not only did it make my chin and my jaw look smaller and I suppose more feminine, I also just noticed that everything just looked a bit nicer. Like I think keeping your bronzer super high on your cheeks is great. I've got quite a wide face as well, don't I? So by stopping my bronzer here, I'm kind of accentuating how round my face is and how wide it is. Whereas if I bring the bronzer onto my face, it kind of pushes it back a little bit. I'm going to do my forehead, just a couple of sweeps. I'm going to go under my nose and on the sides. 
and I am really lazy with my nose contour. I just pretty much warm up my nose. I don't really correct it too much, I just leave it as it is. I'm gonna go in with blush now. I'm gonna use the MAC blush in the shade Melba. Uh, I loved this blush when I worked on clients. And I'm just gonna pat that in. Again, keeping it super high, but coming onto the apples of the cheeks a little bit more than I maybe usually would. I really do like patting my blush on to disperse it. And a wee bit on my nose. Okay. So this next part I've not done in a really long time, but I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Loose Powder, PLSP, what's it actually stand for? Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And I have a little sponge here, I'm sure this is from e.l.f. And I'm going to go in with my powder. I'm going to bake just slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch up these cheekbones and then let it drop. So I have seen so many people bake and I just copied them, right? I just copied the way that they did it, but the way that they did it is detrimental to my face, face shape. So by keeping it up super high here, which is, we like, we all like this, it's very lifting, but by letting it drop down, I'm getting that chisel, but if I was to bring my powder all the way to my mouth, my chin just sticks out. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not going to go under my eyes or anything like that. I'm pretty much just doing this for the colour um, and the clean up. And I'm going to take a brush and just... Do you see what I mean? I think you'll be able to really see when I zoom out. If you're wanting to go a little bit extra, which I am partial to. I'm going to go back in with a bronzer and a little brush. This is the Smith 112. It's more of a contour brush, but I also really like this for powder. And I'm going to go in with that product and I'm going to... Slightly darken. Cool. Do you see what I mean? I'm going to go slightly under my chin as well. So see if I go back, you can see I've got this high cheekbone, but from the front, I've still got colour in the front of my face, which, yeah, I really like. I really like. Okay, I'm going to set all that in place. Because I've used a loose powder, I just want everything to kind of merge together. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Wow. Fresh. And then something that really locks in your makeup is to take a little bit more powder. You can use your loose powder or your pressed and just pounce that over your face after the setting spray. It's just one more extra layer. Everything's going to stay in place. Okay, I'm going to use the Vive Holy Chic Nova Glow Highlighter. Do you know what's so funny? So when I was creating Vive and, and testing all the products over however long it was, like over a year, I really just dreamt of being able to use them in my tutorials. Especially for my everyday makeup because that's when I was really testing out the products. Like for everyday wear. And I was sneaky wearing them all the time. I just so wanted to share them. So I'm using the Nova Glow Highlight and it's just super creamy, buttery highlighted goodness. And what I like about it so much is the fact that it is a beautiful highlight that gives you a really strong result. But like you really can't see it. Unless you unless you turn your head or you're looking for it, it's just so smooth and gorge. Now part of this look is obviously super inspired with the brows and the eyes I'm going to do. It's quite inspired by 90s makeup, so I really love a little enhancing my little freckle. But I also love adding another one. And usually I have, usually I get a little spot around here, so I just put it wherever that is. Okay, let's do our eyes. So eyes are super basic, which I know some of you will be like that, ah, Jamie. <laughs> Another warm brown smoky eye, but it's a bit different. So I'm gonna prime my eyes with a little touch of concealer. Pat that out. We're using the same concealer that was underneath the brows. So it all just matches in. There's no real harsh lines anymore. <sighs> my eyelid skin is different than it was when I was 21. I swear. I can tell the difference. I'm getting old. So for our eyes, I'm gonna use the Vive Essential Palette. I really want to show you guys this look because it is a lot lighter and a lot more everyday than all the other looks that I've showed you. And I'm gonna go for a cool toned eye today. There's something so gorgeous and a bit sassy about a cool toned smoky eye. Whenever I think of cool toned smoky eyes, I always think of Chloe Morello, always. She loves cool tones. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Lava Rock just here. And I'm gonna just start patting that on my lid with a slightly denser fluffy brush. And I've got concealer on, I've not set it, so it's just gonna stick. Oh my God, this color, fun fact, fun V fact, this was one of the first colors that I approved and finished. And it was one of the first colors that I started wearing on my eyes. And I think because cool tones are a little bit rarer, when I 
did wear it, I got so many comments about it. So I'm just going right in with that and then starting to blend that into my crease, but I'm going to use something else to help blend it. But it's a, a beautiful kind of cool toned brown with a slight, a tiny touch of purple in there. And I'm just going to start giving that a wiggle. I'm going to go in with the shade Buff now, which is warmer, but when it's mixed with Lava Rock, it doesn't give a warm, smoky eye. And I'm going to go in with a big brush and we're just going to wash over that and start to blend it out. And I just want this to be more of a wash of colour, nothing too intense or serious. I don't want it built up too much. But you can see there, we're starting to get a really smooth blend. Super easy. I'm almost going right over where we put Lava Rock and then I'm going in with the Buff and we're buffing that out. Can you see why I called Buff Buff? Oh my god, a cool tone smoky eye. I flipping love it. I'm just going to put a wee bit more Lava Rock in the outer corners, just there, so it's not so round. I'm going to go in with an angle brush in the shade Goodnight, which is this black. And I'm just going to gently stamp on a tiny little wing liner. There we go, it's quite a nice skinny liner. If you just use your angle brush in the flat side, it pretty much does the wing for you. It's really easy. And something I really like about this look is I don't do anything underneath my eyes. I'm keeping it all on the top. I'm upset. I finished my Urban Decay Lash Freak and that's what I really wanted to use. But alas. So I've got a new Bambi Eye False Lash Mascara. I really like this mascara as well. This is the L'Oreal Paris one. And like I said, I'm going to just focus on the top lashes. No bottom mascara today. And I'm going to really focus the mascara on the inner corner because I'm going to do a little half lash. And when you're doing a half lash, you just need to really work your mascara right here, right at the front, just so everything blends in nicely. Tatty Lashes TL Jamie Ones. Such a nice lash for a natural look. So I'm cutting them even smaller than I used to. Do you need tiny little half lashes? When you're only using a tiny little bit of your lash, I would literally just keep these, stick them back in. And you can use them for something else later. Put them on your dog for eyebrows, that would be hilarious. And then while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm gonna go in with another coat of mascara. If you find that your half lashes are looking really obvious, try a shorter pair, uh, a shorter pair of false lashes, or just go back in with your mascara and build up your lashes as big as they can be. So I'm gonna get my little lash applicator and I'm just gonna chuck these halfsies on. Give them a little squeeze quite delighted quite delighted with that okay let's just keep you zoomed in and we'll do our lips so I cannot stay away from this combo I'm going to use the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Treasure and I'm going to put it on first because I really love the creaminess for when I'm doing my liner so this is Treasure it is a peachy pale nude oh so good with a tan. Okay, so you can see it's very pale. I definitely want a liner with this. So I'm going to use the Modern Lip Definer in the shade Bark. And I'm going to sketch my lip liner. This is a lot darker, but all you have to do is a little bit of blending. And the finished effect is so gorgeous. And because I've done my lipstick first, you can just draw straight on the lip and it kind of just starts to blend itself. Something else I'm really liking is a proper defined cupid's bow. So I'm going to go up and overdraw my cupid's bow. And that is the finished look. Let's zoom you out. I feel like this is the kind of look that warrants a tiny little bit of a highlighted board. Especially because I've got my wee shoulders out. So I'm just using my highlight and a big brush just to buff that in. There we go. There she is, there she is. I feel like this is actually probably the most makeup I've wore in a while, but I flipping love it. So you guys, that is the finished look. I have to say I'm a bit obsessed. I really love this makeup. I think as well, it's been a while since I did a full smoke right over the eye, cool tones as well. I really don't think I've done a cool tone smoky eye in a while. Not for you guys anyway, in secret I have when I was testing my product. And yeah, I just really like it. I feel like this is just my, my new favorite makeup. So as always, I'll link everything that I use down below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and doing some makeup. I hope you like it. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye. When I was creating, blah, 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 amazing. How do you do this? Amazing. I'm gonna leave these here. No, I'm not. 
need to fix these brows. I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Oh my God, my hands are very pale. Uh, someone said to me that I'm like Captain Jack Sparrow and I don't know if it was a compliment or not, but I feel like maybe it wasn't. What is that? It was jingling. Stay. And if you find... <laughs> this is testing. <laughs> 